Sunday and that means it's race time here in Spa. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of the Belgian Grand Prix. You've been both a test driver and a race driver. What differences are there in the way you approach those roles? Interesting question, Crofty. They're two very different mindsets. I mean, when I tested for BAR, we had full in-season testing where, per driver, you'd cover up to 15,000 kilometers per season. And in that role, it was more about working for the team, trying to help them improve the car and drive as systematically as you could, so that that data could be analyzed in the most consistent way. When you're lining up on the grid for a race, however, your frame of mind's all about what you can get out of the situation on that day and the car's the tool to help you achieve what you want. You still want to focus on setup, of course, but it's more about the here and now, getting yourself as far up the field as possible and less about development work for the future. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and Verstappen, Sainz, Massa, Perez, and Daniel Kvyat, Hülkenberg, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, and Palmer, Grosjean, Stroll, Kevin Magnussen, and Stoffel van Dorn, Verlein, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, remember to break early for turn one as the pack's gonna bunch up. There's plenty of runoff if things get too close.
way so far. A great win then for the Red Bull team today. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And I can see now the drivers are making their way out. We need Red Bull fighting at the front. They do an incredible amount for Formula One. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'd say Max Verstappen earns that title today. 
opportunistic, I think is the word, is something he's become known for during his short career so far, and it's served him well here. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antony, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.